In today's video, we're going to talk about how to open a DAT file. A DAT file is a data file containing information about the program that created it. Almost any program can generate it. The DAT files in system folders are used automatically by the program that created them. For this reason, there's no need to open them. If you do not know the content of these files, you're advised not to edit them as it could render them unusable. Without further ado, let's help you open your DAT files. Opening known DAT files. Opening a known DAT file on your Mac. The first thing to do is to identify the program that created the file. After finding the program, do the following. Launch the source program by clicking or double-clicking on it. Hold the DAT file, then drag and drop it into the window of the launched program. Your computer will then try to open the file. You may be required to confirm you want to view the file. In this event, proceed by clicking on Open or Yes. You may also get a warning telling you that the file may be damaged. Just go ahead if that happens. Opening a known DAT file on Windows. After identifying the software that created the DAT file, click or double-click on its icon to launch it. You should then proceed with the following steps. Click the File tab. It's commonly in the top left corner of the program window. Choose the Open option on the File menu. It will open the File Explorer. On your File Explorer window, click the File Type box. You can then choose the All Files option. Doing this enables the File Explorer to show all the files. Navigate to where the DAT file you want to open is and then click on it. Click the Open button in the bottom right corner of your File Explorer window. The program will then try to open the file. Confirm you want to view the file if a window appears asking you to do so. You can also get a warning message saying the file may be corrupt. In this event, proceed. Opening an unknown DAT file. In the occasion that you don't know which program generated the file in question, you can do the following. Check the name or location of the file. For example, if the file is in a media folder, chances are high that it is an audio or video. Judging from this, it means you should try opening it with a media player. Try using your text editor. Most of these files contain text, and you can open them with a word editor like Notepad. However, if the content is not text-based, you're most likely to see some obscure characters that are unreadable. Ask the sender or creator of the file. If possible, contact the person who created the file and ask them about the software they use to create it. Trial and Error you can start experimenting with different apps if you still haven't had success in identifying the app to open the file. If the file opens in a format you can recognize, then that is the correct program. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.